Hey guys, that's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take our look at We Are the Champions by Queen. So in this one, I'm going to take care of uh, what I just played, the, the main chorus. We're also going to show you kind of how you can get that, kind of recreate the piano part at the beginning of the song, the first verse uh, on the guitar. And then in the next lesson, we're going to do that big chorus like I just played, but with all the solos all the way through the end of the song. All right, so uh, let's take a look here. We're going to start here with this clean section at the very beginning of the song um, that is basically just on piano here. So let me just show you the chords that it's based around real quick, and, and then I'll, I'll tell you ways that you can kind of pick it. So here we go. So the very end of that was actually originally on guitar. So let's look at these chords here. We're just going to play a C minor chord. So it's a C minor bar chord. So you have the third fret, fourth fret on the B, fifth on the G and the D. And then you, the next chord you're going to play, it's going to have still, it's just a bar there. Keep the bar at the third fret. And this is going to be a B flat major triad on the second, third and fourth strings. And you're going to add that C there in the bass. So we have this. And then when you're coming back up, you can basically pick across this chord, which is still keeping that same bar, and just add the fifth fret on the D. So just... Now, just pick across that, so you're starting with that C minor. Okay, pick it across a couple times. And then play that the second fourth through four strings. So hit that low note. So we had this so far. And then just pick across that, that last chord. And then just repeat it. And now you can always sometimes just vary it going from the B string. Picking it across from the B, G, and the D. And sometimes adding that high E. So you know, you can tell from the piano they had that in there. So it kind of sounds like this. All right, so after you've done that like four times, then you're gonna come up to here um, and you're gonna basically play So we have the 6th fret there on the A string, and then the 8th fret on the D, G, and the B string. So pick from the 5th to the 4th, 3rd, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. You can use your pick here too, just... And then you're going to add the 9th fret there on the B string, and still pick across the 8th fret on the G and the D. And then you're pretty much going to do a similar thing. So you're going to pick across to the B, back to the G, and then just play this. You got a full bar there at the sixth fret, six on the high E, nine on the B, and eight on the G. All right. So now if the, the intro too. If you want to do that. All right, so now we're gonna have uh, the more the heavy part that I played at the beginning that leads into the chorus. It sounds like this. All right, and when we get there, we're finally actually in the chorus. So that's a power chord here at the eleventh fret on the uh, low E, and thirteen there on the D A string. Then just lower this note, low E down one fret, keeping this note at the 13 and the A. 
Then a power chord off the eighth fret. Down to the first fret. And then over to the first fret off the A string. Now you get a bar all the way so you can touch the G string as well here. And you're gonna pick across three strings. So it's the first fret on the A, third on the D, first on the G. And then I'm gonna grab the power chord off the third fret off the A string. That takes us here. So we'll go through it again. All right, so from here we have this. All right, so that is the power chord off the low E string, first fret. Pick it again, then the open low E string, then the third fret on the E string, and then fifth fret there, power chord, so here this. that a few times and then over to the fifth fret power chord off the A string. Then first fret and then you can come up to the third fret power chord except you're going to extend your first finger over to the low E string as well and get the third fret of the low E in that power chord as well. So all together. All right, so now we're back to the F power chord here at the first fret of the low E. So the second half there sounds like this. All right, so we have the power chord there, first fret. Then come up and grab the third fret. And then the power chord off the fifth fret there. Up to the sixth. Hit that a couple times. And then that's three, five, three, and then grab two here with your second finger. That allows you to come across and grab. That's one on the D string, two on the G, and then lift up and go to the open D string and still hit the G string uh, second fret with it. So all together. All right, then we're into a G minor chord, full bar at the third fret, with the uh, fifth fret on the A and fifth fret on the D. Play that a couple times, and then you're gonna grab a C major chord, fifth fret on the B, G, and the D, with low uh, the third fret on the low E. So that middle string is muted with the bottom of your index finger. Back to this power chord at the sixth fret twice. That's four seven on the A string with some vibrato on the seven, and then fifth fret on the D from vibrato as well. Then it's we basically have the low um, bar here at the first fret across the six strings. Hit the sixth string and then the top two strings, and then, and then as you put the third fret on the low E, come back and hit the high E string again, fourth fret with that high E, the first fret there, and then the two ones across the B and that E, so we have this. Up to the fourth fret. So that's fourth fret, you have bar here, and then you're gonna pick six on the B, four, which is already in the bar, on the B string, the fifth fret on the G. Up to the sixth fret, and that's gonna be picking six on the B, which is part of the bar, and then eight on the G, eight on the D, and then the C7 sus four chord, which is a bar, pretty much across the, the bottom 
four strings at the eighth fret while playing the tenth fret on the A and the tenth fret on the G. And then slide down to the first fret there on the low E. So now you can play the same piano chords during the second verse, but Brian May actually does add some guitar parts there. So let me play through those just in case you want to play those instead. back to the same part. So he still had that kind of similar guitar part at the very end there. So he's just kind of playing. So that's just three then on the fifth string, five on the G, back to three on the fifth string. And then three on the G, five on the D, and six on the B. All right, next one is That's three on the A, uh, five on the G, and then you're gonna play the third fret on the B and the uh, G together. Then the fifth fret on the D, and that high E string, third fret. We get, it's already part of the bar. Like I said, you can just play the normal piano part if you want to here, it's more prominent anyway. And then uh, here we go again. And that's just three on the fifth string again three on the uh, G string and then same thing that we did before but we're going to end it with this chord which is five on the D, three on the G, six on the B. And then the last one and that's just kind of picking across uh, that C minor chord that we were doing in the piano part. That's the third fret, fifth string five on the G, five on the D, and then four on the B. Lift that up to the third fret there, play five and three on the five on the D, five on the G together, to the sixth fret on the B. So it's parts like this are just kind of erratic, so it's, it's kind of hard to get it just exactly like it doesn't make a lot of sense. It's, you know, because it's kind of just kind of random. All right, and then we have that kind of similar picking part again. Now the way he's picking it this time, fifth string, fourth, third, back to four, second, three, three. And then you add the nine and the B and pick across those three strings again. All right, and then the last one, And that's just six on the fifth string, eight on the uh, D, eight on the B, and then move that up to nine and pick across six on the high E, nine, and eight on the G. And then we're back to that heavy part again. So we're gonna take a look at this next section where he's throwing all the lead guitar parts in in the next video. So I hope you guys will join me for that one.